All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media, and my name is Judson Powell. All right, got a few things I want to talk about today. Um, one, um, let me get my, I actually made some notes today. I don't usually make notes, but anyway, I just want to get the, the, the names right. So let's let's first talk about Dante Wright. Um, and he's the, he's the brother that was uh, murdered by the police um, in, in Minnesota and, uh, the, the protests are raging. So I guess that's a good thing, you know, because I, I kept telling everybody, you know, this thing is not over. They keep on doing stuff. Now, let me explain something. Um, I, I was, uh, I was reading some, some, some posts and stuff like that. And the one thing that I think that y'all lack, uh, the realization of is that these murders are ritualistic. They're rituals. And these are these are deep seated uh, spiritual things that are happening um, because it, it's just improbable and, and pretty much uh, just just not something that you would think that would happen. Um, you know, especially considering the fact that they already have a trial going on, uh, you know, for George Floyd, uh, for the, the, the police officer that murdered him. Now, this girl, Kim uh, Potter. Uh, she's and 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 once you realize that that she's like 48 years old, uh, been on the force for 26 years, been on the police force for 26 years, um, is the union representative and all of this stuff, right? So, for for an officer like that to make the kind of mistake that she's talking about is just not probable. To say that she thought that the gun was her taser. How could that possibly be? And then all the eyewitnesses, I, I, I looked at some of the video from the eyewitnesses and the eyewitnesses are like, she stood there for a while uh, before she pulled the trigger. So what, and what would make her pull the trigger? And from, you know, from what I've read and what I've heard and all this kind of stuff, right? The, the, the only thing that, that he did wrong was he had, uh, too many air fresheners hanging from the mirror of his car. So now how does that justify, how does that justify at all any type of killing? And then, you know, you, I mean, in that, in that instance, you should not be using deadly force. The next thing is I look over and I'm like, well, well, you know, and, and then to know that she had all of that experience, she's been doing this for a long time. And then she makes a mistake that takes somebody's life. And then I watched the news conference um, and we're saying like how it is uh, improbable that, that a trained officer could do that. Why? Because both guns, not only the, the taser, but the, uh, you know, and, and the real gun, both have safeties on them. So you have to take the safety off the gun before you fire the gun, which t in my opinion, in my opinion, is it shows her criminal intent. The fact that she stood there for a while and the fact that she took the, eventually she took the safety off the gun and fired. She, and, and, and they're only charging her with manslaughter. They're not charging her with murder. And this, this is clearly a uh, premeditated and deliberate murder. There's, there's no other way to, to, to describe um, what happened. But when, once I want to get back to the fact that y'all, you know, we, period, y'all, we, whatever, we got to stop celebrating these ritualistic holidays that they keep on putting in front of us and celebrating this stuff that they keep on putting in front of us because it is a spirit, you know, it is a spiritual stronghold over our race. It is a spiritual stronghold over our race. Listen to me. And I'm speaking from a standpoint of being a comedic priest and spirituality that these spirits, just like I've been telling y'all about the pedophiles and, and, you know, and all this stuff, uh, all of these children, you know, the child trafficking and all these children coming up missing. These are, these are rich Caucasians that are buying these children that are, uh, that are assaulting these children that are even even in some rituals 
they are eating the children or drinking their blood. And I know it's hard to, you know, and every time I go someplace, it's hard for people to understand this or, or really realize what's going on. But that's the truth. And I know y'all don't want to hear the truth or y'all can't believe the truth or y'all can't because it's unfathomable to us that anybody would be able to do that. But they are. Just like I try to tell y'all like lynchings and all of this stuff, lynchings and killing, you know, the whole thing about uh, killing off the firstborn of Egypt when, with the Passover uh, ritual and all of that stuff. All of that stuff is to kill black men and black women that's what it's about toxic you know the whole movement of toxic masculinity you know y'all don't y'all don't realize that and and trying to and trying to encourage black men to wear dresses and to become uh transgender and all of this kind of stuff it is a it is a attempt to take away the masculinity and the power of the black man the original man, the indigenous man to the earth, the children of the sun. That's what it's doing. And and we we, you know, and I realize that a lot of us we we don't know because we haven't researched it or we haven't gone, you know, further than than what we learn in in the black church. You know, the fact that we got pictures of Jesus, a white man, we worship a white man as our God. And they feel like they can do anything to us because that is the position that we have taken over 700 years, not even 400 years, but over 700 years. You know, ever since, ever since our, our ancestors, the Moors, moved into Spain and Portugal, we ruled for a time, but then all of a sudden that stuff turned around. And we were and we were outcast. We were cast into East Africa and West Africa. That's and, and we can look at each other. And, you know, after a while, you can look at people and you can tell the origin of where they came from just by looking at them. So we, you know, and the and the fact that even even people like me, I'm mixed. You know, I'm a mutt. So when I when I go along, all I have to do is, is look at this stuff and, and look at all the and all of the, the, the evil things that we, we did not have. You know, we had my We didn't have uh, jails and, uh, and, and all of this, a justice system. And there was no, you know, when and, and like I said about even about DMX, when I did that post about it, my my brother's keeper. See, that's and that's the way we lived. In Africa, there was no, you know, there was no murder and all that stuff. There was, and there were no jails. You, you know, go through the Egyptian Book of the Dead or go through the hieroglyphs or go through the papyrus, go through whatever documentation of ancient Kemet that you want to see and you will not find, you know, all of this crime and jails and all that kind of stuff. You won't see it. That all, all spiritually was motivated by the Caucasian as documented well in the message to the black man by the honorable Elijah Muhammad and I'm not saying that to be religious I'm not talking about their religion I'm talking about the words even like I always say even a broken clock is right twice a day so there are things in all spiritual or or in all religious scriptures the bible and the quran both written at the hagia sophia in turkey in order to the the quran in order to take control of the muslim man and the bible in order to take uh you know control over the black and brown man which it did y'all got to start waking up to this stuff that's what's going on and that's why we find it unbelievable and difficult to believe because once again going down to the word netter it's not in our nature we're doing stuff because spiritually we've commingled with these people 
and we think that what they do is right. Why? Because they're they're a little bit successful, but they're a little bit successful according to their standard, not according to the standard of the Most High. The standard of the Most High is those 42 negative confessions of Mayat. Look them up. And you will see that what I'm saying is absolutely true and absolutely facts. And we be, we always talking about DMX. DMX was a sacrifice. Yeah. Because all the time, what do they do? They martyr somebody and keep us at bay by death. Even if y'all want, and we can go down the line, Megar Evers, uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and then you can come Biggie and Tupac, uh, Nipsey Hussle, now DMX. We all of our all of the people who could be or would be or should be leaders, they kill, or they silence, like Nick Cannon. Like Nick Cannon just had another baby, all that, that, that. He wanted to keep his radio show. He wanted to keep himself on television and all of that, but he's selling out. Because as soon as he said something about our oppressor, you know, don't and don't think that 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 you know that is 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 innocent or whatever. They took his show away, right? And now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden he gets his show back. What when he goes and kisses the ring of the rabbi? He kisses the ring of the rabbi. Oh, I was wrong. I apologize. I didn't mean to do it. Uh, all of that kind of stuff. I didn't know that it was offensive and blah, da 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 da. But they will still look up. They got the Anti Defamation League, but they call us nigger, and nigger is in is in every movie, television show. Uh, you know, all the shows that they make about us are about slaves or they shucking and jiving. It's a comedy, you laughing and joking. But all of the seriousness of what your ancestors taught, y'all refuse to learn it and refuse to change it because you're comfortable. You, co you are comfortable where you are in white supremacy. You know, I got the big spot in white supremacy because I got a million dollars. I got the big spot in white supremacy because I got a billion dollars. I got the good spot in white supremacy because I don't speak out against or I speak out against black people and what I think they're doing wrong. Right. Herschel Walker. Huh. Candace Owens. Huh. They got people out there that are speaking out against black people on behalf of white people. What Malcolm X, they will hire one of us to kill one of us or to do one of us so that what? So that they can say that it was one of us. Black on black crime, fratricide, fratricide. What is the deal, man? What's the deal? And then I salute my brother Kyrie Irving. You know, I don't know how long he'll be playing basketball or anything like that, but he, but he uh he got into a little situation with another player from the Clippers. Uh let me make sure I got his name, Dennis Schroeder, right? He called him he's on the court and called Kyrie Irving a nigga. And he's and he's of 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 African German descent and has a white wife. And Kyrie got upset, highly upset, because they, we know, we and we are the ones that use the word the most, and we need to get rid of that word. Why? Because a curse. That word is a curse. Just like the word master, the word master is a curse. Nigger, master. All of the all of the terminology, and that's why they keep making slave movies, so that we never we never forget. And it's a ritual. Every time we watch them, every time we support them, every time we put money into them, every time we celebrate their their pagan bogus holidays, we are doing a ritual against our own people. Wake up. I you know I don't I don't go around messing with people. But I know 
and I'm just teaching what the real deal is. Anyway, Fastest 15 Minutes is up. My name is Judson Powell. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, but most of all, hit the love button.